And you just mentioned that you don't think that the committee necessarily must hear from the former Vice President Mike Pence. You've also said previously that you didn't think it was necessary to hear from uh, former President Trump directly. Do you feel like the committee has a sufficient amount of new information to move forward to make your case, or do you feel like there's some still some key missing pieces? I feel like personally, if we had to make the case today, we could do it. Um, there's still some pieces we'd like to get, particularly archives pieces, more uh, interviews with people. Um, I, I think the reason with when you talk about Donald Trump or Mike Pence is we have so far, this has been a, and, and it will continue to be a very nonpartisan committee, not just bipartisan, it's nonpartisan. Um, I think history will write down not just the events of January 6th, but the fact that this is a select committee that really is working in unison and together. You can imagine how much how chaotic it would be uh, if there were people trying to gum up the works of, of legitimate investigation. And so, uh, you know, as this thing goes on, I, I think we'll get more and more information. But the key to this, since we're obviously not looking, it doesn't mean we can't do criminal referrals. We need to be clear about that. But this isn't a criminal investigation. It's an investigation for accountability, to figure out what we need to do to prevent it from happening again. And I think laying that out in front of the American people is going to be essential. And even if somebody doesn't want to read it, their kids will someday. 